Okay, everybody, we're getting underway with our third game of this weekend's Family Feud Marathon, in which so far we're still $10,000 winless, but I think we're going to turn that around here in just a bit. Yeah. But if you did see the last uh, game in the Fast Money Round, that stupid answer made the survey. <laughs> Yeah. And join us from Quebec. Give them a hand. Bam. But what will happen in this uh, in this game? We'll find out in just a bit. They're from Maine, and they describe themselves as being clean and spontaneous. Well, the opposing families from Maine are famous from Quebec. Yep, we're continuing on the pre-Easter edition of the Breezy Saturday Family Feud Play the Marathon. Here he is, the Family Feud, Anderson. Anyways, let's get to it. Welcome to the Feud. We've got a great game lined up for We've you. We've played two games, but we have not got a $10,000 win yet, but we're hoping we turn that around. Name something that people polish, uh, their fingernails. What do you think it is? Oh, yeah, I know you do I know you do, Michelle. Hey, it's a girl thing. I know. Let's see if it's I've been in a family of women for years. So, so I know that one. Let's see. What? Survey. People polish brass. Oh, that's a good answer. But is it good enough? I want to see that answer. Is it good enough? Let's find out. What? Fingernails? It or brass rather is not there. So we'll play. Good answer. But it's not on the board. That kind of surprises me a little bit. Play? Yeah, we'll play. I got one. Silverware. People polish silver, silverware. Other than furniture, name something that people polish. You never know what's going to be up there. Silverware is number two, said by 19 people. Oh, Polish, Polish, what? 
Well, wood, yeah, that would be a good answer. We have silver, we have um, shoes, and we have um, fingernails. Something pe Well, it says other than furniture. Name something that people polish. Other than uh, furniture. What's other people polish other than furniture? We have silver, we have shoes, and we have fingernails. Tried windows, but that's not there. Tried glasses, that's not there. I'm gonna try cars. Good answer. Good answer. Let's hope it's there. It's gotta be there. And it is the number one answer. Cars. Thank God. All right. Ninety points. Yeah. Right. And nonetheless, we got it. We have 90 points and we're off and running. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the score. Let's have what's behind Batten's bar counter. Let's you missed. <laughs> Family number one, you are off to a great start. Foster's Australian for beer. Was there a cup of bottle or a mug? I'll take it in a mug. You got a slap. I believe that's slap. <laughs> no, Just for that, Batten, you still missed. You like that woman? You want a piece of me? Well, too bad. I'm already taken. Besides, I'm going to take other ladies. I'm a lesbian. You got the top six answers. You just what? Good luck. Well, yeah, I'm a lesbian. Come on. Are you ready? Name something. Did you just admit that on camera? Yeah. It did. Family number one. If you think for a second I'm going to edit that out, guess again. That's okay. That is staying. <laughs> She's a lesbian. All right. Oh. You got it. But either way, I respect it, Bat, and it's cool. <laughs> and what you just said in the chat, Bat, uh, I am not going to think about that one. I'm not going to, silly goose. Name something with a screen. We have TV, that's the number one answer. I'm gonna go with computer. Is it there? That's sweet. Computer's at the bottom of the survey. Exactly. Another player. I'm gonna go with the movie theater. Even though the movie theaters are closed down right now throughout the nation. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Good answer. <laughs> and we got to hear Louis say, Good answer. Good answer. A door has a screen. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Exactly. Well, I was hoping he'd say it again. He might say it again if I give him another answer. In the next survey. <clears throat> How about a window? Windows have screens, don't they? Let's see a window. Yep, number two. Let's see if he says it. Right. Absolutely. Oh, he said absolutely. All right. But at least twice we got to hear him say, "Good answer, good answer."
How about a fireplace? A fireplace has a screen. I hope it's up there for you. Survey says we got another clean sweep. Yeah, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Didn't give anyone a chance on that one. All right, then, number one. You got the points. Uh, about what you said a second ago, a few seconds ago, back in the chat. At least you don't pay for sex. Are you trying to tell us you get sex for free? Yeah. Oh, God! And you admitted it! <laughs> Eugene, thoughts? Okay, it's round three. Let's go. Betton admits he gets sex for free. And he's two more players. Yeah! Let's go. And he's back! Or she's back, I mean, oops. A hundred people surveyed. We've got their top five answers up there. Do not. Are you ready? Name something people tint or color. Something people tint or color. Their hair. Okay, family number one. I hope it's up there for you. Answer. Hair. Cool. Good answer. Number one. We'll play. What will it be? Play. You're playing? Okay. <laughs> so that's at least five sexual innuendos that Batten admitted on camera. I think it's going to get worse. Uh huh. I want to see that answer. Windows. I'm gonna say windows. Seventeen people said windows. Yeah. Absolutely. Ah. Another player. Something people tint or color. We have windows and we have hair. Something people tint or color. How about their car? You never know what's going to be up there. Oh, strike one. Good answer, but sorry. Your first strike. Just remember, Batten, for each time that you give a sexual innuendo, Eugene's going to send you to the barbecue. Something people tint or color. How about their clothes? Oh, their hair. I already said hair. That's the number one answer. Is it there? So we have hair and we have windows. And I just said, oh, I don't remember what I said. Oh, clothing, yeah, but it's not there. Oh, that wasn't going to answer that. I mean, you tied that shirt. That's true. Something people tint or color. Next player. Well, I don't know. Well, I tried fingernails, but it wouldn't show up, so I'll try just nails. Name something people tint or color. So I'll try that. Is it there? That's sweet. Survey says we got our third strike. Oh well. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. Let's see what the other family says, shall we? What's your guess? Ooh. Name something people tint or color. Shoes. What? I don't think I so. For you. Survey says give him an L Strico. Thank you. No. Who tints or colors their shoes? Good answer, but it wasn't in our top. No, 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 I'm never even trying it. Do what, mom? All right, family. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, let's see what the other answers say. 
Let's see what was in Eyeglasses. And to complete Cake the frosting and Easter egg. Oh, Easter eggs! Yeah. And Easter is tomorrow. Well, as of the day the show airs. Well, it just goes to show you, everybody out there watching, and for my mom and for my friends here, the people who were surveyed for Family Feud are the people who think that Buzz Lightyear is an astronaut. Four points are triple, but you only get one strike. And then the other family gets a chance And just in case you guys out there watching haven't got the gist of it yet, Buzz Lightyear is not an astronaut. He's a space ranger. Come on, another player from each family. One hundred people surveyed. We've got the top six answers. You just gotta guess them. Good luck. Ready? Name something you try to keep out of the house. Something you try to keep out of the house. Bugs. Okay, family number one. Is it there? Let's see. I would if I were to give a stupid answer, I would have said Michelle Batten. You missed. Bugs? Bugs is the number one answer. Good answer. I have a strategy in mind, so I think I'd like to pass. What are you gonna do? Play or pass? Alright, family. But when we do get to fast money, we know Batten's gonna go first. Do I have a volunteer to go second? Going once. Going twice. I'll do it. What is it? You never know what's going to be up there. Yeah. Oh, okay, Eugene. Then I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and go second. Yeah. It's cool. And they said dirt and mud. That's the number two answer. Violence? Oh, that's a great answer. Let's see if it's up there. People try to keep violence out of the house, but I don't think it's going to make it on this survey. Jeez. Oh, good answer, but sorry. The next family can steal. What will it be? Next family member. What do you say? Uh, hmm. I'm going to say alcohol. Although in chat's case, that would be hard. It's not there, but it doesn't matter. We're still going to fast money. So Batten, get on, get ready, and I gotta get on deck. Okay, okay. Yes. Family number two. Now keep in mind, we have not got the ten thousand dollar win yet, but we hope to turn that around here and now. What was in third place? The number three answer was. What was the mice? Popular answer. What was in the fifth? Pets. And the finish. Salespeople. Candy. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Both families played well, but only one can go into the fast money round. Family number one. All right, Batten, it's time to get on deck. Money round. I need two players from your team, and we'll get going. We still are ten thousand dollar winless. Let's turn that around here and now. Five questions. Good luck. The clock starts when I finish reading the first question. Here we go, Batten. Name something you like with a match. 
How about a candle? Absolutely right. Name something in trail mix. Uh, 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 pretzels. There you go. Uh, pretzels didn't show up. Try again. Oh, uh, uh, what, what, peanuts? There you go. That's better. Now name something you teach kids to be careful with. often portrayed on TV. How about doctor? How about doctor? And it's time to give a stupid answer! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Batten, are you ready for this? Yes. I want you to name someone associated with bows and arrows. Uh, you know what? He's on, you know what? He's on this, on this conversation with us. How about Vince <laughs> What? <laughs> Vince Bendis? You for that. <laughs> He's gonna bust you. What a candle with the match. And our survey said 37. Good. You said peanuts are in trail mix. Sure are. That got 46. Wow. You teach them to be careful with fire. You most certainly do. That got 54. You said doctors are often portrayed on TV, and the survey said on that one, 45! You said Ben Spinton is associated with bows and arrows, which got absolutely nothing! Same five questions, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting resist. <laughs> However, though, Batten, I will tell you the good news. Yeah, we'll let Eugene say his phrase. Since Batten goes back. <laughs> uh, Batten, the good news is you got me 182 points. You got this. All I need is 18. So here we go. Name something you like with a match. Uh, fireplace. Name something in trail mix. Raisins. Name something you teach kids to be careful with. Scissors. Name an occupation often portrayed on TV. Police officer. And, uh, police. Yeah, police. Someone associated with bows and arrows? Indians. Get a ten thousand dollar win here, ladies and gentlemen. Name something you like with a match. Did eighteen people say fireplace? Five people only. All right. Name something in trail mix. Did thirteen people say raisins? We got it. You want ten thousand. So Batten looks like you won't get sent over the moon this time. And for the first time this Easter weekend, we got a $10,000 win, and we still have one more game to go. We hope you'll stick around for it. We know we will. Thanks so much for playing with you. Did we get the $10,000? Yeah, we did. I knew we would, too.